Hey guys, Jan here in the Northview Model Shop with a completed slot car. What a great fun little build we had uh, with this one. Um, it was a little different. Uh, you got into, we got into a little bit of metal working. We got into a little bit of mechanical um, building and then we did some body work which was fun. Just doing the body work alone, not having to get into interiors and, and fit and finish. It was just straight body paint clear decals, clear buff polish. It was a nice little project, a nice little change. But um, you see it, here it is on the bench. Let's uh, let's put this camera in tight and we'll do a little look over. All right, guys. All right, guys, here she is. And I know the first thing you're looking at, these big, awful looking bolt screws. Um, what's supposed to be in there, I believe we can see it, are these little guys. And we didn't find them until it was way too late. We had drilled the holes out in the frame, or in the body, too big to start out with, and we kind of shoehorned ourselves into it after that. Could probably fix it, but you know what? It's a slot car. You're not going to see them silver little things at 100 miles an hour anyway. Well, maybe 50 kilometers an hour. Well, let's find it. We're going to the racetrack with Mike at the Racers Rec Room, and we're going to have a little fun with this little car. But um, like we said previous, a great little fun build. Um, it, kind of, it kind of took us back to the basics of uh, just doing body work. One thing I'm not impressed with, and it's always been a battle with me, is getting... Uh, buffing compound into the creases or into the um, the body lines here so I got to go back and kind of clean all that stuff out before we do anything with her but um, for the most part it was fun we smoked the glass blacked it out which we've never done before uh, we've used white glue on the glass in the front here which was a really great little experiment it worked great for us um, another little thing that we've done here that we've never done in the past was a coat of clear decals and then I think we did four more coats of clear and then we buffed it out and it kind of made them lay in there a little more. Um, we probably could have um, probably done some more coats of clear but kind of would have been a waste. Um, as you see here we got the, the nice Parma motor, we've got the braids up front, everything is, is ready to rock. So this looks like she's going to be pretty fun and I can't wait to get her to uh, over to Mike's place the racers rec room and uh, take this thing for a spin. Alright guys, what do you think? Post there, tell us what you think. Fun. I like it. Well guys, there we have it. Our slot car build is complete. We had a lot of fun doing this. It kind of got us back to a little bit of our basics. Uh, in general, it was just fun. We got to meet some cool people. Mike down in the racers rec room. We've got some new subscribers that are from the slot car world. We've explored another uh, avenue of the model. Are we going to go full on slot car racing? Probably not. But it's still really cool and then we've got ourselves a little slot car now that we can take out to the track. Because locally, our guy, every three or four Thursdays, he has a league night, and it's just bring, run with your brung kind of deal. And uh, we want to take our little car out and just have a little fun, meet some people, you know, shake some hands kind of deal. So, guys, if you need a little change, give it a shot. Like we've always said, if you like what you're seeing on the bottom there, hit share so other people can see. Thumbs up if you really like her. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Let's get back to building some scale models. All right, adios.